It's a very complicated question, but insofar as we can answer it, I think we have um, an, uh, uh, the best answer we can give to questions such as what is right or wrong, and it's an answer which does not need us to refer to the idea of a god or a creator. It seems to me that if you look out at the evolutionary panorama, the one thing that really is needed to make human existence work anyway is, is something that evolution should never reward, uh, and that is total self-sacrifice, willing to die for somebody else. Gee, if you're going to uh, um, execute someone for stealing a loaf of bread, well, now he may as well murder the shopkeeper at the same time because both of them give him the death penalty. I really feel like these parts of who I am, the science and the spirit, cannot be sort of pushed aside with the wall in between. Well, I've been very interested in robots for a long time and I have an admission to make tonight, and that is that I'm a robot. My name is Alan Lightman, I'm a professor of humanities here. I used to be in the physics department as well. I'm going to talk uh, a little bit at the event about uh, my worldview, uh, which is essentially that everyone should make their own worldview, that there's no uh, universal meaning. And I think it's very important for MIT students to come to this event because you'll get to know your professors as people. I'm Troy Van Voris. Uh, I'm a professor of chemistry here at MIT. Uh, for me, I see that there are lots of problems in the world. Uh, you know, there's uh, not enough energy, there's not enough resources, people get sick, uh, there's injustice, people die. Uh, and, you know, I see 150 years of work and technology on this, and we still haven't solved these problems. I don't see us solving them necessarily anytime soon. And so how I, I want to talk about how I find purpose or how I find meaning in working on these things. Uh, even if, you know, maybe maybe we won't solve them, you know, in my lifetime or your lifetime. I think maybe you might enjoy uh, coming to an event at MIT where there are no quizzes, no tests, and no P-sets, so, and also free food. <laughs> I'm Alex Byrne. I teach philosophy here at MIT. I uh, believe that um, when I die, I shall rot, as Bertrand Russell put, uh, put it, and I'll be talking about um, what sort of purpose our lives could have on the assumption that that's right. Physics and engineering problem sets are important, um, but so is the meaning of life, and this discussion will provide a much uh, needed opportunity to talk about the latter. Hi, I'm Daniel Hastings. Why should you think about coming to this? I want to talk about uh, dealing with success and failure at MIT, which I think is an important topic for everybody here to think about. Those would still be people, not robots. I think when it's made out of something else, uh, it has some very different properties. And I'll just add parenthetically, um, who would want to engineer a whole human? Rod, you know there's a much more fun way to make new humans. 